Get him, Fior. Get him. 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 Fence him up, Fiora! Welcome in. Welcome, Goon Squad, baby. We're in here playing a Demacia Shadow Isles Lucian Fiora on Yielding Spirit deck. Now, I tried to build a deck for the tournament that play Lux Thresh because I like Lux Thresh and I, I didn't really want to play Lex Karma because they didn't have much experience with it. And I didn't want to leave out Shadow Isles because it's generally good against burn comps when you get to play Vile Feast and stuff. But this deck is a Lucian Fiora combo deck in a way. I mean, it plays a lot of grindy things like uh, Hapless Aristocrat, Curse Keeper, a lot of sack outlets, Bloody Caretaker, Single Combat to trade your things off. And then we got the thick, thick Badger Bear, and we have Senna because, of course, who is Lucian without his Senna? And then Vanguard Redeemer because things are dying. We're going to be able to get some card advantage off of that. Grizzled Ranger because that card's just Grizzled Ranger. It's one of the best cards that they printed in the last set. Four one and last breath, and then you get a whole other thing. One really cool play with the Grizzled Ranger is attacking with the four one, and then having them chump block it, and you get another attack token, and then you playing Radiant Guardian before that next attack. Really sweet, really sweet. Couple detains. Now I was playing the Mage Keeper that got the detain in my Lux Karma uh, Lux Thresh deck, but uh, you have to play straight detain here because we're not playing that many expensive spells other than Unyielding Spirit. Then uh, we also have Radiant Guardian and the Unyielding Spirit. What are we doing with this deck? You you do Unyielding Spirit on Fiora and you go to town, kill their stuff. They can't kill it. That's great. You can also do it with Illusion, especially if it's flipped, and just go ham. Um, just keep attacking, attacking. They can't kill it. And then <clears throat> you get multiple combat steps uh, with Lucian, because Lucian's spell is a Relentless Pursuit. That's pretty nice. Also, whenever it's uh, leveled up, whenever one of your things dies via all the ways I explained to you, you get another attack token. So you really bury him. And I, I played against this deck in the tournament, and I was pretty impressed with it. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. I made a couple updates. Uh, I had to get the Senna in here, because you can't play Lucian without Senna. I mean, come on. That's some high rolling draws. And uh, now there's no Chronicler Ruin in here. It is good with the Curse Keeper. I pretty much just jacked this list from my opponent and, and put in two Senna's. Give it a try. I cut a Blighted Caretaker. My opponent was playing three Blighted Caretakers and three Vanguard Redeemers. But I decided to put in two Senna's. So we'll give it a try. Yeah, you, mean you can't have Lucian without Senna? Come on. I mean, name a better combo, right? Name a better duo. All right, so we're gonna get into this match here. We're uh, ranked on the uh, the old master rank. Find out what we can do with this deck. Oh, no. no. yeah, Montius, welcome to Goon Squad, baby. Thanks for the follow. If y'all are tuning in on YouTube, you can watch the stream. There's a link down below. Come watch it live. We do open song requests. We do. Uh, you know, lots of, uh, we, don't, we don't have many giveaways right now, but I'm working on something sweet coming up soon. If you want to check that out, the follow on the Twitch. Okay, what do we have here? Curse Keeper, we're up against a Swain TF control deck. So, I think I like the Curse Keeper. I like the Grizzle Ranger too, but I'm less inclined to want to play this single combat. I think we just want the, 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 the thicker units here. The resilient bodies here. Make a little mana. We do have to be careful against the Swain Leviathan combo. They can lock us out of combat by stunning up all our big stuffs. That <laughs> Green Glade duo is a better combo. <laughs> better duo. Better duo than <laughs> Lucian Center. Alright. It is a little better of a duo. But only in the most literal of senses. There we go. I'm gonna work them up. We're gonna get our four fours. You want to play a regular four four? You want to play a, a maybe kind of would be a four 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 four. Stuff call. I think we just want to come with the regular four four. Although I I don't mind banking two mana here. To get this glimpse beyond off. You gotta be careful because they can make it rain on us. We don't really want that to happen. So. I ain't gonna lie. I want to bank the mana. Just because we have this unyielding in our hand, and there's going to be a turn in a couple turns where we might get an opportunity to play it. Because this deck 
has some serious trouble with the unyielding combo. Alright, so we got two banked right now. So if we play the bear, this is pretty cool. We can play the bear and then just get in for four. Change my mind. City Breaker made me change my mind over here. Let me change my mind. Probably gonna jump one of the ones, block one of the ones, yeah. Alright, six ball. We got some pressure coming. We could also glimpse to get another 4 4 out there. But I don't wanna save that for whenever they try and do a removal spell. They did have two mana up. Maybe I'll get this fewer out here. Oh, you're just gonna steal one. Hey, you guys. It's freaking pain to follow. Welcome to Goon Squad, baby. Appreciate you. What? What is this tomfoolery? Tell me what it is. What is it, chat? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't hurt me. What the hell is this? Oh, they stole one from me. They stole one from me. So they got like, I want this thing to die, right? Is that is that what they got? They got, I want it to die so I got Radiant Guardian. Is that what is that what y'all are seeing? That's what I'm seeing. I feel like that's what I'm seeing. I feel like they got a Radiant Guardian off that one plunder card. This is the most mana efficient play. Let's do that. Yep. God, I'm such a genius. Look at this. <laughs> like. Took me a second to figure it out, but I was like, what is this? Oh boy. This is gonna allow them to get another blocker. I think that's okay. We'll see what they do. We can't really caretaker because our board's too full. But I think we play fewer post uh, post first combat. Oh, never mind. If we're gonna block like that, then we don't need a fewer. Oh, looky there! Didn't play around the second one. Be out here parlaying my shit, huh? I think I want to use my mana. Try to draw some cads. I need some cads. Need some cads. Oh, look at Lucian, y'all. What if we replace this here with a little. Uh, we still got two banks that we can uh, do the thing. Could have like started attacking to make the Lucian happen faster, but we wouldn't get any damage through because they have life steal. Might be a better way to just batter it. This card. Interesting card. Okay. I'm blocking. Blocking this here Fiora. I don't know what you can do about that. I don't get to gain any life off of that unyielding. Very fine. Keg. Alright, little keg. I'm glad to be in Goon Squad reference to Sean Payton's Saints Bounties. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Oh no, Lucian can grab one of these... Uh, grab the barrel. Not too bad. Could have played something a little more threatening. But I like them clearing out our board a little bit and then we use the caretaker to do the thing. We just gotta watch out for like the Leviathan and Swain combo. Just 
Lost one. Okay. Okay. Huh. Don't want to get Swain stuck. I think like a Leviathan into a Swain can be over here. I'm just hoping to draw some more Lucian so we can start attacking on our opponent's turn. Also, we probably should attack that elusive thing. Solo attack it. Just keep him off the plunder. Although now it's kind of irrelevant since they have warning shot in their hand. Don't rip tie me, bro. Next turn, don't riptide me, bro. Riptide's kind of all over the place right now. Okay, it's gonna do one illusion. All right. Spell. Well, I guess we're off the solution plan. Three blockers, you have three attackers. And there's a Riptide. You already ate three of them? Sick. Resist the fall. That's taking one. And with three blockers. I mean, they can't attack, bro. Fiora held it down. Ooh, thanks, Fiora. You're the best. I think we just might double uh, Ranger. We're on the heat, yeah. I don't want the spider. Off. Uh, I will end this here. Why didn't I think to detain this thing? Sorry, we'll just get it dead. We can detain the swain. That's what we're gonna hold out for. Now we're going in. Ball feast the the five one. We'll hook the one one, and then we'll send the team. Or no, we'll hook the three three, and then we'll send the team. I'm not that worried about this cutthroat. I don't think. We've seen how ineffective that Rex is when we have an immortal Fiora. Can't be touched. Nope. We're gonna do that after. Alright, up to 18. Uh, what do we want to just Badger Bear? I think we want Badger Bear. So I guess this is where we want to go. Make it to where they can't trade with any of our four fours. 
I don't think we're really worried about them trading. I think we'd rather get the stacks on the Fiora. One, one kill on the Fiora. Another cool thing you could do with this deck is with Blighted Caretaker, if you have no judgment in this deck, if you have uh, Fiora or anything with Undying on it, un, I mean un, Unyielding Spirit, you can Caretaker and target it. It won't kill it and you'll still get the uh, two saplings. Same thing for Glimpse Beyond. I hope he doesn't get a detain from me. And again, they're at three. So they're, they're, they're running short on, on staying alive here, especially when we have repos to be able to push through. Okay. Remember the A lot. A lot. Okay. Um, this leaves them with Maybe one blogger. I'm just gonna play this. You are. And like I, I targeted this because if I killed this, it would make a sapling before it makes the four four, and then we will lose our four four, and the sapling would die to the funeral. Oh my guys, Lucian. Double spell here. Nope. Just send me a little warning shot. Let me know there's still still there. Shot received, opponent. Shot received. Grinding it up. Grinding it up. Looks fun. Yeah, Chronicler Ruin, that might be a good one. I wonder how this works. If you chronicle or something with unyielding spirit, does the copy? Does the cop? Do you even get a copy? And if you do, does it actually have unyielding spirit on it too, or no? Probably not, because whenever you kill something that's got a buff on it, it comes back unbuffed. So I doubt it. I went um, five one in the tournament. There's two more rounds of Swiss. Got to X two to top eight. So, we're going to finish that up tomorrow. East Gangplank. Huh? Ooh, spooky. I think we want the Fiora. I think we'll keep the Redeemer, too. We got the, the odd turns here. It's pretty good for the Fiora, I think. Tough turn here. I can just block like this. So young. No room for doubt. This would be a crazy ass for war play, huh? No. Not all that crazy. Mega Rain? Parlay. If they had make it rain, they wouldn't parlay, right? Like, no way, right? They might have double parlay, though. I don't feel bad. There's plenty of killing left. 
Wonder me, Daddy. Okay. So we want to bank one mana here, if possible. I mean, we want to bank like uh, three mana here. Let's go, boys! Get him, Fjord. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Fence him up, Fjord! The game against Topher was amazing to watch. Game one was insane when you got your Thresh level up and then you decided not to use the Grasp. Just want to shout out the great play. Sauce K TV. I appreciate that, man. Dude, I'm glad you appreciated it too, man. I've been playing card games for a long time, and I'm sure many of y'all have played for a long time. And y'all know the feeling. Whenever you make a great play, and then you get a look at it after, and then, like, I've been doing it for so long. I'm not saying I've been making great plays for so long. I don't make a lot of bad plays. But, you know, for so long, I've, I've, I've done it, and they, they get lost in memory. You know, they go down a memory hole. So... Maybe we should have clipped it, huh? <laughs> Maybe we should have clipped it, huh? But uh, they're a great feeling, you know. Whenever you, you, you it's like you should be uh, feel accomplished. Huh? Okay, so now they can challenge my my little four two action here. Gangplank's about to get me. GG? GG? Oh shit man, it's not a GG unless you emote. I gotta get my emote, emote game up. Remove the region server limitation? No, they didn't. Because when you use it on a dying, it makes it. Dusk and Dawn has Chronicle, I think not. Because when you use it on a dying, it makes it 2 2. They remove the region. So, limitation? I don't know what that means. Remember a great play if I ever make one. <laughs> Blevins. <laughs> I'm sure you got one somewhere, dude. Y'all go to Ble Blevins stream, dude. Hit the follow button. Go to the videos. Check the clips, bro. There's got to be one great play in the motherfucking clips. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> don't sell yourself short, bro. There's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, there might be thousands of hours of video and only one good play, but there's got to be a good play in there, bro. Come on. If I take a day off, I'm gonna find Blevins' uh, master master play on his vods. I'll take a day off one day. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spend all day. I'm gonna find Blevins' good play, and I'm blast it all over Twitter. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. If y'all find it, dude, send it to me. <laughs> Cause I want to see it. Gotta prove him wrong. Scouts, scouts, scouts. Huh? I like the four fours. Uh, NA players could only play with NA. You, yeah, it's been like that for a while. The guy you were playing when new loco just now in the in the ladder or in a tournament. Yeah, well, Brazilian they play on the NA server because there's NA EU SEA. They're they're closer to us than Europe, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Oh, I actually want. I definitely want this. Uh, I probably want the Radiant Guardian to be honest with you, but I think I think we got time to find one. We're talking four draw steps. You know how it goes. You mulligan something and luck. I think boys. I doubt they're playing Bannerman with this open. Usually they play Scythria if they're playing Bannerman version. Oh shit, look, it's Lucian. Push back to darkness. Oh no, I was gonna draw a Lucian, I never blocked. Alright, Chef. What's cooking, good looking? 
All right, Chef Dog, let's go. We can heal this thing up. This is going to be a banger next turn. I think we should bank two and then play this next turn. Skip the bears. And then we're going to hook up all their board. Let's get to it. Huh. Can't fight on an empty stomach. This is the most damage. Let's go and block that. Oh no, we were supposed to block the chef. To put it to, to a 2 1. But we're gonna get this uh, illusion flip if they don't have a single combat up in here. Ah. Ah. That's how you gonna do me, huh? It's alright, we'll come with the bear. If they play Grizzle, then we'll fight, fight the Grizzle. Either way, I should have blocked the war chefs. Well, I kind of want to keep that caretaker. Pretty sure they ain't gonna block this. Surprises happen every day. I could have single combat at the war chefs. I'm off it. I just want to bank a little mana, you know? Nothing crazy, open five? Misfortune, huh? Hey, no oh. Not looking too good for us. I think this is it. Give me the 4 4 to block. What'd she say? Did she just cuss? Hey now, she don't sound like a southern pirate to me. Going around cussing like that. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Maybe that is southern. Alright. <laughs> you gonna hook me up over here or you gonna give me the 4 4? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Damn, I'm really missing that one damage on this war chest. I'm missing it big time. Just one little damage, that's all we wanted. I was like, oh man, I'll just take less damage, no big deal. Instinct. Survivor instinct kicked in. Messed me up. That's gonna be hard to block. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Alright, let's mess them up. Let's see it. You can grab these two and then just bang in on all the four fours. Like that. I guess we could have sent this because, like, come on. You're gonna take 12 right here? Stranger things have happened. Yeah, we killing it, ASL. We lost round two, we never looked back. It happened. So. 12 ball? Can I say 12 ball? 12? And we gotta draw two. We both have two cards in hand. Raw 2 is looking nice. They're slowed down pretty good. We got a good board. I played a lot of the Scouts deck. I actually have a video up it on my YouTube. And uh, when you get far behind, or if the board is just kind of even, it's kind of hard to break through sometimes. You really want to get ahead and stay ahead. Oh, Lodi B. Look who it is. <laughs> Look, match made in heaven. All right, let's see what the voice actor is going to say. Oh, shit. What is this? Scouting? That'll never change. Oh, that's so cute. Look at him. I love birds. What y'all think about a glimpse on this? They're thinking real hard right here. 
Gonna scout. You're gonna scout with a three seven. I mean, if they fight the Lucian in response to the glimpse on the center, we're gonna feel bad. I feel real bad for the bear. For the bear, safe there at four. Jump all the way down the street, and then what? We're being boarded. Great for Ooh, they're thinking shifty, shifty, shifty little ship. Make it worth my while. That's still lethal. Keep our bears too. Man, the Oracle's Eye is the coolest feature in this thing compared to any other card game. Seeing what's actually gonna happen is like the sickest thing ever. And they're just out here like that, huh? I guess we're gonna trade here. We'll put them to two. That's kind of the plan. We'll lose our Lucian. I think that's okay. Comes Fiora. Got him at two. All right. Fortune favors the bold. Get it out there. Ooh! Ooh it's hot! It's hot! It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh shit, look. Yeah, show her. Oh, this is about to work. Ready? Oh no! I thought I had enough mana. I don't have enough mana. It's so bad. It's so bad. But they didn't make the play. Throws. That was totally a throw. <laughs> that was so throw. It, the funny part is, probably gonna win anyway. All right, we're gonna wait like we got something, okay? Cause this reads like uh, repost right here, right? It reads like repost. See what I'm saying? Well, this thing gets to attack again, y'all. That's why we're bluffing right now, okay? Because this thing, it, this is gonna die to the MF shot, see? And then we're gonna get the bear, and then this thing gets to attack again. So then it can come and try and kill the Fiora if it wants. I'll pretend like, do I want to save this? What's the deal here? I think I'd rather get the kill on the Fiora. Come at me, bro. <laughs> gonna get the Quinn back, which is gonna get back at Hillary Valor. And I lost this, so uh, F word. God, that was so bad. That was so preemptive. And unnecessary. So now we're gonna. This is a serious throw. Um, but there are two, and we'll have what four attackers. Love ya. It's good. It's good. I had nothing. I'm gonna eat. Show them to me. God, that's so bad.
All right, everybody in the club getting tipsy. The MF's probably gonna block the two one. Hopefully, they didn't draw back to back. Holy yikes. That is a problem. <laughs> that is a real problem. Uh, I think we want to hook something smaller. I mean, go and dying on something smaller. That was the sickest draw. The throw into the top deck. And now we're dead. And just like that, we were dead. What a throw. What a throw to the same. Well, that just goes to show you. If we would have unyielding, the game would have been over with. But now, an open attack is all that it takes. Finish this off. GG. Well, there you go. A little pun at the end, you know, to make it all worth it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me how bad that throw was down below. I read all the comments and I reply to every comment. So, definitely appreciate the feedback. I'd love to know what you think about these videos I've been putting out, as well as any content you would like to see made in the future. One love, baby. Good vibes. And I'll catch you on the next one.